were solely judging me from the video that went viral that I made in my kitchen. If you're an avid TikTok user, it's a good chance you've seen at least some pieces of the story. But if not, I'm going to be filling you in on everything that I think you need to know about this woman's boutique condiment business that took TikTok by storm. This whole craze started when the founder, at Chef PI, posted this video to her TikTok account. I said, I want something big. I want something that says I'm here. Beyonce. <laughs> you are Beyonce. This video had 5 million views within the first few days and now has over 11 million, which would have been absolutely amazing but as you can imagine, people had a lot of questions right from the jump. And a lot of them were not the most positive either. Is this FDA approved? Or are the nutrition facts? Why is the color different on some and etc. The controversy that came with the product and marketing was absolutely the driving factor to its level of its fame and being super viral, which from a TikTok marketing standpoint could be an amazing way to get engagement but also very dangerous if you go overboard and don't clear things up properly. And in my opinion, that's exactly how Chef Pai began to sink the ship. She clearly leaned into the controversy way more than most would recommend and gave some videos replies that excited the crowd even more. Example, this video responding, what does it taste like? Its own taste if you want. Honestly, it has its own taste. If you want to taste it, buy it. It goes on sale tonight. This wasn't even the only reply video she did with similar energy and reactions too. But you honestly get the point. She had a chance to clear things up and apologize, but instead she chose to keep on going, which honestly didn't seem like a huge deal until early July when orders began shipping in and arriving. Almost immediately, videos of the sauce arriving exploded and rotten started to pop up. Alongside nutrition facts issues like vinegar being spelled absolute wrong. No expiration date given and 444 servings, which would have added up to 1.7 gallons. This is where the pink sauce ship really sunk in my opinion. It's one thing to do controversial marketing, but still deliver great products. I actually feel like that's how cult followings are built at times. But if the products come with huge issues too, that's where things get really, really bad, which is pretty much exactly what happened in this whole situation. Even though there turned out to be some lies about people getting sick and even someone faking their death from all of this pink sauce stuff. Critics and OPSA customers just kept piling onto the hashtag pink sauce, which now has 429 million views. By the way too, Chef Pie has now backed down on defending herself through all of this. She has denied all claims of illegality and FDA issues from what I've seen and even posted a video of her allegedly speaking to an FDA representative. Uh, we paused like we didn't ship out anything. We haven't shipped out any packages since, you know, we have became aware of this issue. We also let our customers know that we are working expeditiously to correct any issues that we, you know, are facing right now today for the pink sauce to be as successful as it needs to be. And also to, you know, show the people that actually support the sauce that it is safe and we are taking the precaution to make sure that they are not worried about their health concerns. Okay. And we fix the packaging as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, on the business card has my email address. Any yes. any changes you make to your label before you wait to spend money creating something Pretty that might money. not be act accurate right. yet. If you have like a draft copy, you can send it, and then I can review it with you. It. Right. And approve it. Say, hey, you're good to go now. Right. Uh, and okay. Then at that time, you can also well next week because we have a, a conference call for most of that the first part of next week. Okay. After that, I'll be able to either revisit or discuss with you. Or call. She was also featured on the NBC News last week where she claimed to be a victim of clout. Just to give you more of a sense in how she feels about the situation and also how big this has become. But overall, that's pretty much all of the pink sauce storyline. And that's all we have right now. Her website and TikTok are still live right now. But pink sauce appears to currently be quote unquote sold out. So I don't really know what's going on in that situation. I think this is like the best marketing scheme I've ever seen in my life and 
probably pretty genius but also not very smart that she didn't really get an fda approved and she probably didn't think it would go this viral at all so at the same time it's kind of hard to blame her because having like a viral product like that like the pink sauce is super super rare so i think this is like a w at the start but an l at the end because she didn't put money on figuring out how to spell things and like nutrition facts and everything so at the end of the day it's an l but at the beginning it was definitely a w but yeah let me know what you think